Hey there, what can I do for you? Uh, you looked a bit uh, distant. Uh, I want to talk to you about your... I don't particularly want to talk to her about her brother, but I suppose if it will ease her tension, maybe so. I, I was a little snappish when we last talked. I'm sorry about that. I get a little touchy when it comes to Griff. It's kind of embarrassing telling people about him. Oh... Why? It's complicated. Griff wasn't the most popular guy. He had his faults. But I still loved him, you know? Sometimes people don't understand. I never knew my parents. My brother always looked out for me. He's the one who brought me here to Tars. I was just a kid, only five. But I remember the trip, if you could call it that. We were stepped inside a packing crate in a Starfighter's cargo hold with just enough food and water to make the trip. Not exactly first class, you know? Oh dear. So you were stowaways then, eh? I don't know the whole story. I was pretty young, but my brother owed a lot of money. Might even have been a few arrest warrants out for him, I don't know. The only way to get off the planet was to smuggle ourselves out. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like we were criminals. Well, maybe my brother was. See, this is why I don't like to talk about it. It makes Griff sound worse than he really was. My brother had his problems, but he always looked out for me. Oh well, he's family I suppose, and you gotta stick by your family. Hey, I've been known to do a thing or two in the past that has not been totally uh, on the old righteous side, know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Without my brother, I don't know where I'd be. He gambled, and drank, and he was always borrowing money for his latest get-rich-quick scheme. But he had a good heart, you know? He taught me how to survive, showed me how to slice into a computer security system, how to get inside a locked building without the entrance codes, and how to spot a wealthy mark for a quick shell game. All valuable traits. Pretty handy skills. Yeah, Griff did right by me. I really miss him since he left. I keep hoping he'll come back someday. He promised me he would. Oh well. Why exactly did he leave? He fell in with a bad crowd. It's all Lena's fault. She's the one who took him from me. Just batted those long lashes at him and off he went. Uh, Lena? Who's Lena? I don't want to talk about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. <laughs> space tramp? It's closed, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? Not a damn thing. Okay. Have it your way. Oh. One minute she's pouring her heart out, next minute she's snapping me. She's snapping at me. Can't make up her mind. She's a damn enigma, is this woman. Anyway, am I getting back to where I left off? There we are. I'm gonna have to collect the uh, old hologram thing again. <coughs> the Twisted Rancor Trio. There we go. I was actually gonna uh, try and memorize the order again. I'll write it down at least so I didn't have to go through the whole thing. But, uh, Uja. Linda was first. I'm gonna confirm this. Twisted Rancor Trio. What will be killed? The brains behind the group founded the trio to earn a date. So the manager, Gilfoss, started with Alinda. Then we got the other two, which was Uja, then Uji. So Alinda, Uja, Uji. But then they quit. And we were left with Looper and Load Foda. And finally, the final piece of the puzzle was Alinda's sister, Ishana. How very nice. Right, okay, so there's, uh, oh no, oh no. There's Alinda, so we'll start this one off. So the next one uh, is Uja. There we go. Well, what a strange looking chap. <laughs> Playing the old jazz flute. A la Anchorman. Uji is next. 
were to say the Yaz flute. The Yaz flute. Lupa. Oompa Loompa. Uh, was it was it Lupa next? Oh, was it? No, it's definitely Lupa. It was Lupa. And then it was Photo. Lupa Loompa. Photo do you do? And then finally a shadow. There we go. We'll lock the goodies and bring them to me. Last bit of XP. And, oh! A Chani Fiber Armor. That sounds nice. That's the credits, of course. Always a welcome bonus. Let's just take a quick look at this armor. It looks, uh, looks pretty good. Well, sounds pretty good anyway. Light armor, defense bonus 5, dexterity bonus plus 5. So, slightly less defense, I yeah, there's less defense than my current armor, but much better dexterity. And I bet you this Echeni Fiber armor is probably upgradable, so I might be able to actually upgrade it to be almost as good <coughs> defense wise as my current armor. Which, yes, it is. So, I may use this armor. In fact, I will probably, yeah. Makes sense. Okay, we've got some more black Volcars, but I'm not spoiling for a fight. I'm here to loot. So if we can avoid, then we shall avoid. And I don't really... Was there any other apartments in... I don't think there were any more apartments in here that have uh, crates. But there was another set of apartments just down here, past the... Um, what's it called? The cantina. Past the cantina, past the hidden back base, down at the bottom, there was a... Uh, Another set of apartments where we first met that Candorous chap, that Mandalorian fella. Just left here. Well, near enough. Here we go. So we're just going to have a pop in here, see if there's any um, hidden foot, or foot lockers that we didn't loot last time. I, I'm, I'm sure there was one, at least one of them uh, protected by a mine. So now that we've got mission with us, we can uh, disarm those things. My, uh, <laughs> see my character took a, quite a, a penchant for running to the right hand side and there's one protected by a minor yeah. gas grenade, there we go. Do your stuff mission! <laughs> Voila! And secure, oh, seal strong box. Well, let's try and open it with our security skill. Gotcha! Darn it! Ah! Uh, Seems we have hit a little bit of a what? snag. And I bet you it's probably got something to do with this damn desk here. Lock is computerized. Off planet model. No way for us to try and splice it. I need to enter a password. Alright. Let's take a wee peaky pie at this computer. Okay, hey, I'm also I heard your brother left for t Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you because you might need it. Okay, stay away from two guys. Keep everything locked up in that off talk box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. Alright. Password has probably something to do with that text, so uh, let's see if I can remember any answers here. Please enter the proper password. Responses can confirm identity. What does name your pet? Hyperdrive, if I can. Yeah, there you go. Hyperdrive. Who told you to fire a blaster? Okay. That one I can't remember. <laughs> Let me just read back through the message again. Okay, Lambert, left Tatooine. Tatooine. Hyperdrive has given company. Okay, so we left Tatooine. Nothing there about a blaster. I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. I won't tell you because the last trash is like Alderaan, like a bit dangerous there. So Uncle Louie. Uncle Louie wrote the message and um, Uncle Louie sounds like he taught her to use a blaster. Hyperdrive. Uh, oh. Hyperdrive. There we go. And my uncle. Where did your family... Ah, that was Alderaan. I remember that one. Identity confirmed. Lock disabled. Excellent day. 
Whoa, 100 credits! Republic Mod Armor, Blaster Pistol. Seems we're getting all this specialist armor all of a sudden, which is great. Not that I'm complaining or anything. Hey, Big oh. Z, don't take this the wrong way. Oh, we've heard this before. She's okay. insulting him once again. She can't help herself, can she? Maybe somebody should insult her. Knock her down a peg or two off her high horse. Won't be me, of course. I am too polite to to to, to insult a fine yucky looking. Uh, what do we call these people again? Anyway, <laughs> look over that man. I need to look up on my races here. And another footlocker, probably full of goodies. All right. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Definitely worth coming back here and remembering about these def uh, these, uh, sure. these footlockers of the apartments. Quite funnily enough, though, actually, two of these uh, are about. Oh, no, one of them. We could have got the first time around with those holograms if we'd taken the time to uh, to read the damn desk note. Anyway, here we go. So we're pretty much done. I don't think there was any more uncollectible uh, footlockers in the first set of apartments in the upper upper level, so uh, I think it's time to uh, press on through the hidden bed base and look for uh, Gadon Thek. But not before we've uh, transported back to our apartments to upgrade this armor with the upgrades we've got, and also we have a few weapon upgrades as well, so uh, we'll just pop back into our apartments, do that first, and then we will be ready to uh, sully our name even further by double-crossing on Thek, the blind leader of the Hidden Backs. Alright. And once again, I think that this music is pretty... It's quite a simple, simple piece. You know, very basic, but it's so relaxing. And I like it. And it's always a good sign in the game. If I enjoy the music in the game, it really heightens the, the experience for me. Take uh, Mass Effect, for instance, a lot of good music in that. So far, so good with uh, Deus Ex. It's got a uh, pretty nifty tune at the start that I've enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'm really uh, looking forward to playing that out. And similarly, this isn't disappointing me either. Anyway, I'm just taking a look at some of the, this Republic mod armor that I got. It's not quite as good as the the fiber armor, the Echni, or whatever it was called, Echini uh, fiber armor. So I think I'll keep that. And uh, maybe if we ever invite Karth back to the group, as uh, we got the Jirasteel bonding alloy to maximize this uh, vibroblade now, which is great. Yeah, if we ever uh, have Karth back into the group, which is looking unlikely at this moment in time, I'm glad of a few moments' peace. I'd rather listen to that Wookiee squawking and screeching and, uh, <laughs> and listen to Karth moaning on droning. It's great. So yeah, if he ever does come back, I think I'll give him the uh, Republic Mod Armor. Keep him sweet for a little bit longer. So we have a spare vibration cell if we ever get another weapon to upgrade. And uh, I believe we have some upgrades for ranged weapons, but since we're not using Karth, these weapons will stay unupgraded. And we will focus on uh, Mission Veo's Blaster Thingamabob. Bowcaster. It's actually Zalba has Bowcaster, but there you go. And the hair trigger. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm just considering. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna put in hers. I'm not gonna touch cast weapons with a pretty ten foot barge pole, as they say. So, only one upgrade needed. So, cast weapons, pretty basic. So, we just after a beam splitter now for the Zalbaz Bowcaster. So, yeah, we're upgraded as far as we can be upgraded. I think we're probably ready. Oh, excuse me. Almost forgot about my uh, armor upgrades, which would be rather silly. Mission delay, something else. All right, so here we go. So 
So we're gonna take uh, Mishin with us. We're gonna take Zalba with us. I def definitely would not take Carthus on this mission. Could you imagine his face, his reaction towards murdering Gadon Thek? He'd probably have a damn heart attack. Anyway, so we'll leave him at home, sunning himself, putting his feet up. Don't stress yourself too much. Let us workers crack on with our job, and you sit there and do nothing. That's totally fine with me. Okay, let's transit back. 